Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. I just wanted to show you my workbench after a couple of projects and having been idle for a little while here. It doesn't take long before the bench becomes completely cluttered, cluttered and unusable to work at. Uh, those are still some of the items that I haven't sorted out from the uh, HHO games. And of course, this is my shelf with some of the experiments that have yet to be conducted. I don't think I need to tell you that coming into this garage out in this cold, I don't know if you can see that steam rising in front of the in front of the lens there, but that's my breath and uh, it's pretty cold out here and it's depressing to come out here and look at this. Although one interesting thing to note, this is the electrolyte in my VSBB cell. It's kind of interesting to see the way uh, the crystalline structures are forming inside the cell. One of the nice parts of this camera is I can do some very extreme close-up macros. So you should be seeing some very nice videos coming from Zero Labs pretty soon. Or should I say Sub-Zero Labs. I want to take you for a walk on my property. And we're going to go out the side entrance door out onto the deck. And if you look down in the back, I've mentioned this a couple of times in some of my videos, that is the uh, building on my property that I think was designed by the original architect to be a guest house. It ended up being just a shed, but it is a fully insulated stick frame structure on uh, metal stilts to keep it off the ground. And it's a very nice structure. I'm going to bring it out back and show it to you. So we'll just walk. We had uh, about four inches of snow last night, so I spent some time clearing that out. And let's just take a walk down through the trees. You can see the doorway entrance and the steps, but where that pane of glass is, you can actually see this used to be a shed style door and somebody built a frame to occupy the left hand side there. You can see the edge of the additional frame that was put in there with those uh, panes of glass. They weren't weather rated, so they are all rotted, and that door is almost ready to fall out, so I have to change that whole thing. But let's go inside here. And if I can find the right key. As you can see, it is a storage shed, but this place has potential, and what I want to do, it's about 12 feet by, 12 feet wide by, I want to say almost 20 feet long, and the architect who originally designed this, there's like a, an island in the middle here that's sort of like a children's playscape and on top was supposed to be I suspect a mattress and then up top near the ceiling there I think over the closet was supposed to be a, uh, a bunk bed area for additional sleeping quarters and this I presume over here was supposed to be a sauna believe it or not uh, it would be consistent with the Scandinavian architecture of the rest of the house and there is the power box that has a 240 volt feed from the main panel at the house which comes down so I've got power down here and all I need is uh, some heat and maybe to fix up this insulation that's that's hanging down here but uh, this would make a great lab and a great office and that is what's coming for 2009 that that is my project for 2009 I want to turn this uh, this guest house slash shed into a lab 
fully equipped and start doing some serious serious experiments in in this region here so just wanted to take you for a quick little tour uh, what will have to happen obviously is I'm gonna have to buy another shed for the property to store some of this stuff or um, build a roof over my garage and create a storage space over the garage because right now it's just a flat roof and we do need the storage but this center island will come out completely and uh, might even finish the sauna who knows I like saunas so anyway uh, that's it for now other than that it's pretty picturesque where I live and uh, that's uh, that's about it so Zero Fossil Fuel signing out. Everybody have a good day.